Hey guys, it's Chef Lonnie McGill. Today we are actually going to be working with Brussels sprouts. Typically, Brussels sprouts get a bad rap, but I'm actually going to show you a way that we can finesse this vegetable into something super exciting. So, let's get cooking. So first what we're going to do is we are going to wash our Brussels sprouts. Making sure that we're getting any debris off of the outside, making sure that they're really good and rinsed. And then once we have them rinsed, we'll get back and start cutting. So now that we have our rinsed Brussels sprouts, what we're going to do is begin to take off the ends. This is very fibrous, so we don't really want to use it. So we're going to cut the ends off and then cut them in half. We want to make sure that we're cutting them in half because it gives us the opportunity to reduce the amount of cooking time that we actually need. Typically, Brussels sprouts get a bad rap because people usually cook them too much and they get really mushy. But the way that we've been making Brussels sprouts lately in the culinary world is that we are either frying them or roasting them to actually give them some texture and keep their nutrients. Making sure that we're not cooking them to death is a good way to actually introduce Brussels sprouts or reintroduce Brussels sprouts into whatever it is that we're eating. So the next thing that we're going to add will be our apple. I typically would recommend doing a red skinned apple because if you do anything like a green apple, it's going to be tart. So you wanna actually do like a red skinned apple, like a gala apple or a pink lady apple. We're gonna peel the apple, remove the outside, get rid of the core and dice it up and add it to our Brussels sprouts. And once you have your apples in the bowl, we can now move to our aromatics. Aromatics are going to be anything like an onion, a green onion, a shallot, or a garlic. Today we're gonna to be using green onions and a shallot. I typically just use the green parts of the onions because it's going to be a milder onion flavor. You can use the white part if you like a little stronger onion flavor, but I personally like just the greens, but save the whites for something else. So we'll add these to a bowl separately. The last aromatic that we're going to add is going to be a shallot. It's a little milder onion flavor, but it's also kind of sweet as well. You want to remove the outside skins because you can't do anything with it. We're going to do a small dice or mint on the shallot and we'll add it to the same bowl that we have our green onion. The last thing that we're going to do to prepare for our Brussels sprouts is to use our cooked bacon. So you can put this in the oven on 350, go ahead and get it cooking. You can fry it in a frying pan or even use a microwave if that's how you cook your bacon. Either way, you just want to have some pre-cooked bacon ready to crumble and or chop for your Brussels sprouts recipe. Now that we have everything prepped up, let's cook. Now that we are at the stove, what we're going to do is get our heat to about a medium heat. Let's do about a medium heat. And then we're going to add a very little bit of a neutral oil. It could be a canola oil or a vegetable oil, but you just want a, enough just to coat the bottom of your pan. From there, we are going to add our already cooked bacon. Go ahead and add in our aromatics, which is going to be our green onions and our scallions. So you just want to keep them moving around because you don't want them to actually stick to the bottom of the pan or burn. And what you want to do is pretty much saute your aromatics until your shallots are going to be translucent. And what I mean by translucent, I mean make sure they're kind of clear, which gives you an indication that they're actually cooked. So now that we've got a translucent color on our scallions, what we're going to do is add in our Brussels sprouts and our apples. So you can just add them all to one pan.
And be careful because there is a high water content to Brussels sprouts, so they will pop. But the popping is going to be normal. So now is the time where you want to add your seasoning. So just do a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And you can use regular black pepper, you can use white pepper. If you want to spice it up a little bit, you can even do some red pepper flakes. So it'll take about five to six minutes for your Brussels sprouts to begin to soften up. But remember, we don't want to cook all of the nutrients out of our Brussels sprouts. So just five to six minutes will do. All right, so now I'm going to add in a little bit of Dijon mustard. And the Dijon mustard is just going to add a nice little bite for us to kind of make almost like a, a little vinaigrette because we had that rendered bacon fat and we had the oil that we started with. All right, from here we're going to finish off with a little bit of acid, which will be a little bit of red wine vinegar. And you can use a red wine vinegar, you can use a apple cider vinegar since we have the apples in here, or you can even use some of your favorite cooking wine depending on whatever you'd like to use. And here we have it, our finished product of Brussels sprouts with apples and bacon. You can enjoy this as a side dish, an entree, or an appetizer. Either way, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for cooking with me, and I'll see you next time.